pause now for station identification. You are viewing and listening to Dodger baseball on the Dodger television and radio network. We've arrived at the top of the ninth inning at Dodger Stadium. The Dodgers four, the Astros nothing. It's a simulcast, radio and television. Last chance for the Houston Astros in 1981. Jerry Royce, three outs away from pitching the Dodgers in the National League Championship Series. He prepares to face Dickie Thon, who's 0 for 3 this afternoon. A strike. The crowd. Waiting to explode. Almost 56,000 paid here this afternoon. Ground ball to short. Russell, short hop. That's one. Good play by Bill Russell. And Bill Burden's down to his last two outs. Tommy Lasorda, guided pennant winners with the Dodgers in 1977 and 78. Came so close last year, forced it to a playoff. Now, two outs away from having his team reach the championship series in 81. Here's Alan Ashby, taking inside for a ball. Ashby, 0 for 3. He was safe on Guerrero's error his last time up in the seventh inning. Stay with us. We're going to the Dodger clubhouse when this one's over. If the Dodgers hold on, 1-1. One one. There's so many heroes in this one, including the big blonde in the middle of the diamond who delivers, and there's a ground foul outside of third. One and two to Alan Ashby. Dave Roberts comes out on deck. He will hit for Frank Lacordy. The Astros have gotten a runner to third only once all day. That was Cruz in the second inning. There's a fly ball to left to Baker, and the Dodgers have one to go. Lasorda on his feet, helping guide that one into the glove of Baker for the second out, and then doing a little cheerleading. Dave Roberts, the last obstacle, standing in front of Jerry Royce and the Dodgers. A year ago, the Dodgers couldn't win the game they had to win against the Astros in the playoffs. Now they're so close. A strike. Royce has struck out three. He's walked three. He scattered five singles. He was in trouble in the middle innings. He's finishing like a thoroughbred. Strike two. He had three days rest. You'd never know it the way he fit. He's walking away. He didn't know he fouled it. Sosha might have to throw to first base to Garvey. Dodgers win the win. Jerry Royce shuts out the Houston Astros on a five hitter, striking out Dave Roberts and Tommy Lasorda, helping escort Royce off the field and leaping in the air. As he heads back into the dugout and downstairs, where we'll be in a few moments. Dodgers win the West. We'll be back with the wrap up in a moment.
Get Lloyd, Lasorda and Rice. Lasorda and Rice, first of all. Right now. It'll be on the half. Just on the half. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. It's Bedlam here in the Dodger dressing room, and the guy who drove in the winning run today, the big run, Rick Mundy, you had a great year, and boy, it really wound up in a nice style, huh? Sure, we had this bottle of champagne that's been sitting for about, <laughs> I, <laughs> I know you're you. backing off. I hear you. It's I'm been sitting there for 12 months, and uh, we were very, very serious, and we came back, as you know, and, and everybody has been with this organization and the ball club throughout. We were very serious when we thought that we could come back to Los Angeles and win three. First of all, because we think that we have a pretty darn good ball club, but we don't lose faith in ourselves or the people around us. And uh, we owe a lot of thanks to the people in Los Angeles who didn't give up the ship either. They sure didn't. And you didn't give up against Ryan. He gave you a low fastball and you belted it to the right field and that was enough. Well, it was a situation, Jerry, where he'd been throwing exceptionally well and you get into a situation where you're trying to hit the ball, certainly with a man on third base and less than two out. Dusty had just hollered to me at third base and as well as Danny Ozark because I was I was dropping my back shoulder a little bit not purposely trying to do anything with it but there are many times when you know what you're trying to do but can't do it it's like standing over a six foot foot things worked out well we have a big job ahead of us but we have about 24 hours at least to relax and, and as Tommy says enjoy the fruits of victory and here comes Tommy and congratulations Rick and here's Tommy come on over here Tommy Tommy you're drenched with champagne Thanks. thank you Jerry Tommy, congratulations. You never gave up on this ball club, even after the two losses, the, the tough losses in Houston. Well, I'm very, very proud of them, Ross, because when they came back from Houston two games down, they just believed that they could go out and beat the Astros. And then they had to do it on the fifth game against an outstanding pitcher like Nolan Ryan. They're great. And I'm telling you, I'm very, very proud of them. And I'll say this much. I want to I want to thank God for making all of this possible. And I want to win this thing for Peter O'Malley because I know he went through a tough time when the strike occurred. And we want to thank all of our fans and above all my wife because she's been tough living with me the last few days. And I'm so very, very proud of these players. And I know the entire city of Los Angeles is very, very proud of them. Tommy, you made a bold move the other day. You decided to go with Hooten instead of Welch. And that seemed to start the Dodgers on the way Friday. That's right. It was a, a big game that Hooten pitched. And we felt that if Hooten can win that ball game and get us to our two left-handers again, then we would be successful. It worked out that way. <laughs> Tommy, I know you're still trying to savor the, uh, the fruits of victory and the, uh, the fruits of the wine here. <laughs> However, I want to ask you a couple of things. First of all, do you have any idea who you'll open with against Montreal here Tuesday? We haven't Tuesday? even thought about it. We were thinking about today and today only. We'll sit down with my coaches and then we'll come up with what we will feel is the proper rotation. But a, a good guess might be Hooten or Welch. In that's that true, that's true, but we'll, we'll, we'll see, Ross. All right, one more thing. What about Ron Say? Are you going to make him eligible Ron for Say, Tuesday? Ron Say will play on Tuesday. All right. Tommy, I'll let you get back to the players. Congratulations. Thanks, a great Thank job you, this year. Thank you. Nice Thank you. going. Thank you. All right. That was worth it. All right. Ross, right. you want to get Jerry Royce over here. He's locked in for a moment, but we'll come back right. after this message. So a little busy with a little champagne here. So we're having a champagne battle between Royce and Joe Beckwith, and we'll get in here and uh, separate them in just a moment. Right Joe thinks there's Joe two thinks of there's you. Two of me right well, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, I know that we hope there's nine or ten of you because the way you pitched again today, Jerry, here, use my towel. I brought it just in case we needed it for an emergency. You've got to have a towel. Very good. Thank you. Big game. Uh, everything was going well. Well, it wasn't all going all that well. It was the fact that I was getting the ball up in the strike zone a little bit. And I was walking a few hitters, trying to be too fine, trying to throw too hard, realizing that the situation is that if you give up a run, it could be the only run in the game. But uh, I got out of it and just waited around. It was just a waiting game until we could see who was going to come first, who was going to score first. And fortunately, we were the ones who did so. And when the Dodgers put three big runs on the board, you felt a little better about it, didn't you? Yeah, but I, I wanted more. I'm greedy. <laughs> when it comes to get an opportunity to try to win a game, you want as many as you could possibly get. But Jerry, today you were a little bit wobbly with yeah. control, but you really had, uh, had good stuff when you needed it. You made the big pitches when you had to make it. Well, that's right, and we got the runs, and got the opportunity, and it was just a matter of trying to get one man out, one pitch at a time. It's the same 
uh, theories that I subscribed to my entire uh, couple of years here. And that's all I was worried about, not counting the outs as they were going down or anything, but simply the way it was going. I got to get out of the way of that beer can. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish we would use the cheap stuff to pour on people. This is too good. Look at this. Hey, Jerry, congratulations again. Yeah. You win two more games, or maybe three more. Well, three or four more. We'll, we won't be greedy. Just All three right. or four more. Thank you. Okay. Jerry Rice. Ross, I have one little announcement to make All while right. you talk to Pedro Guerrero. Thank right. you very much. Uh, this is about Western Division Championship. Uh, we'll play host to the Eastern Division Champion Montreal with a game at Dodger Stadium <laughs> on Tuesday at 1.05. <laughs> I can handle it. And let's see about tickets now. Let me sell the tickets first, then we'll go all right. Tickets for these games will be on sale tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock at the Dodger Advanced Ticket Office, 1750 Stadium Way. The tickets are priced at $15 and $10. Take it, Ross. You did a great job. So did you, Jerry. Nice Thank you. Thank you, Ross. Pete Guerrero, what a big home run last night. And uh, hey, Pete. You, hey, what's up, Pete, Pete, you're the guy who said the Dodgers would take three in a row. You didn't say which three, though, did you? Well, uh, I said before then, uh, then we we gonna we might win three in a row because I, I remember last year we did it, but uh, I, I really didn't was admit and we're gonna go and uh, to Houston and beat him, you know, two in a row over there and, and come back and beat him one. So I just I just said, and if, if we did it last year, why can't we do it this year? So I'm glad anyway, and we lost that, those two games in Houston and, and came back home and, and, and beat him three in a row. Pete, you had some, several tough chances today at third base. You're able to stay with it. Now Tommy tells us Ron Say is going to be eligible for the league championship series. Are you looking forward to going back to right field? Well, uh, of course, yeah. I'm, you know, I think, I still think that right field is my, my position right now, so I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just going to go out there and work and start working again in right field, catching some fly balls and, and ready to go again. All right. Pete, congratulations. Thank See you here Tuesday much. against Montreal. Thank you very much. All right. We'll be back with Kenny Landro in the Dodger dressing room, but first, this time out. Well, Kenny Landro, I'll tell you one thing. It was pretty good. Here comes Sandy Kofa. Hey, don't go away now, Sandy. I want to talk to you in a minute. Kenny, for you, a real thrill to be at home and have all this happen to you. Yes, it is a thrill, Jerry. I can't remember uh, when I used to come in the park and listen to you and Vince Scully uh, announce for Sandy Koufax and all the other greats. And now um, I'm a part of the You're playoffs here. Yeah, I'm a part of it now. And yet, last year this time I was at home watching the playoffs, and now it's just great. I got to thank the man above for getting me traded over here this year. It's just Unbelievable. One of the really highlights of your career, wasn't it? Yes, it is. This is the highlight of my career, coming home and playing with the hometown team, the team that I supported so much. You were listening to Vinny and I. You ever seen me get drenched with champagne here in this clubhouse before? No, I never. Now you know why I have this crazy get up. <laughs> I've been through this before. Yeah, I, don't like it. yeah I never got a chance to get down here and see what it's about. And this is my first time, and uh, it's really great. Ken, uh, th thank you very much, Kenny. Nice to talk to you. And keep thank going. You. Have a good can series. I, good can series. Can I say hi to someone? You sure can. I want to say hi to Clissy, my wife in Arizona, and Antoine. All right, fine. Thanks, Kenny Landro. We're going to call Sandy Koufax over here. Come on, Sandy. Sandy Koufax, who's been through this before, and he will be here. Ross, have you got... Uh, let's talk to Sandy. Come on in here, Sandy. Would you run out of players? No, well, they're, they're back there drinking. You know how it is, they're getting rowdy now. And we got to go to the old timers because you've been in these things before, Sandy. Well, we got two old timers together now, Jerry. Okay. Now, what about your emotions, even though you're watching this whole affair? Well, I, it's just fun to watch. Yeah, these guys didn't play that well the second half. Then you lose the first two in Houston. And you read, you know, oh, they're too old or this, you know, the infield's falling apart. But they played like professionals for three days. The pitching was great. They got the runs when they had to, and they've got a lot to be proud of. And I just, you know, I enjoyed being part of it. You know, it's just fun to be here. There's nothing like a winning clubhouse. It <laughs> kind of brings back been. old times. I yeah. remember some oh, nights yeah. we had in Philadelphia after a win, and uh, all, all around when the Dodgers would pull them out and, and really win these championships before. Definitely. You know, and there's nothing like it, and I just, you know, want to see it go all the way. I, I want to be here in about 12 days or 13 days. Oh, and. Boy. Have it all over. Good to, good to see well, it's good to be here. Thank you, Jerry. Pleasure. Very good. All right. Now we have Steve Garvey. Dave, come on in here. Come on. All right. Garv, you're drenched, but I know you're happy. Oh, <laughs> supremely so. It was a tremendous comeback by this team. I'm just so very happy that, again, the fans were there for us. The 10th man was on 
on the field and in the stands. And I can I just can't thank him enough. And of course, like Tommy said, we thank God for giving us the strength. It was a great deal in the sixth inning. Baker at first base, one out, two and two pitch. You must have fouled off three or four. And then, as you've done so often over the years, you were able to come through on that hit and run play. You've really got that down. Oh, thanks. It's a classic confrontation. I knew that in a situation like that, the shortstop would be covering. And to face a Nolan Ryan, somebody that's the best in the game for me, and to be successful is the ultimate. I knew I had to pull it once he broke. The ball was there, and I was able to get it through. And you made a big play in the third inning on the low throw by Pete, I think, to save another run. Well, that was inspiring. That's probably what I do best with uh, natural ability. And there was a little wind out there today, and made the ball do some tricky things. So I was fortunate to get the ball out of the dirt and go on from there. What do you think about Montreal? <laughs> really, we didn't care one way or the other. We know that we play well against Montreal here. We just wanted to get into the quote regular playoffs and I think the key now for us is to do the same things we did against Houston so stay self-contained and do what each of us does best do you think that down the stretch these last three days the experience on this Dodger ball club paid off well I think the experience was the key uh, because we've been through it before 74 77 78 last year at this time experience is invaluable and we proved it Steve congratulations and we'll see you out here Tuesday thanks very much okay. thank you Billy Russell get over here Here's the dean, the, the deacon of the Dodgers, as I called him today. Billy, you've been waiting for this, yeah. well, I guess since uh, 78. Exactly, Ross. Uh, we've been uh, in you know, this position three times. We've been denied the world championship, and it's always in the back of our mind. We, we don't know how much longer we're all going to be together, but uh, we're looking forward to, uh, to winning the World Series. we got one step at a time now. We came back from being down in the two games, and we made it very tough on the Astros. They knew coming in here we were going to make it very tough on them not to win that one game. And, after the first inning of the first game, we were ahead three to nothing. I think they gave us the momentum that they needed, that we needed, and we went on from there. You said on the pregame show this afternoon, we got to be patient with Nolan. Well, you were patient. He was pretty good for five and a third, wasn't he? He sure was. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, there wasn't too many hits up there, and there's a lot of zeros, but uh, we had to be patient with him and, uh, you know, feel him out, make him throw a lot of pitches, and uh, we did that, and we got the time to hit when we needed it, and that's what we had to do with him. We did it. Billy, congratulations. It's great for you. Thank you, Ross. Okay. We'll be back with more from the victorious Dodger locker room right after this. Ross, I've got to repeat this ticket promo because as I was trying to read it before, right. I got sauced. I'll with, keep everybody yeah, off of you. Okay. <laughs> the Dodgers will play host to the Eastern Division Montreal Expos in the games at Dodger Stadium 105 on Tuesday, Wednesday at 5.20 p.m. Tickets for these games will go on sale tomorrow morning at 8.30 at the Dodgers advanced office at 1750 Stadium Way. The tickets are priced at $15 and $10, and there is a limit of four tickets per person. But repeating, the Dodgers play Montreal at 105 on Tuesday, at eight, uh, 520 on Wednesday. Tickets on sale beginning tomorrow morning at 8.30 at the advanced ticket office, 1750 Stadium Way, $15 and $10. Ross? What a wind up. I'll tell you, Jerry, you look like you're pretty snug in that coat, and you better keep it because it's going to be cold where we're going next I'll weekend. It is going to be cold when we go to Montreal next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I'll tell you one thing these guys back here are happy to go there, Ross. Excellent pitch, you, Jerry. I, I just can't say enough about the job that all of them did, even in the two losses in Houston. It, just, it was just remarkable. I think Houston got six runs in five games. Right. And the Dodgers didn't get many more than that, but they got them when they counted. And now. Uh, you got a feel for Houston. They played well. They really battled all the way to the wire. It was a great series, and as usual, these two clubs really put on quite a show. And as we mentioned there in the late innings, uh, wrapping it up upstairs, you're not going to have the two best home run hitting teams in the National League, the Dodgers and Expos, so you might see a little more offense coming up in the League Championship Series. That's for sure. Well, we'll say so long from the Dodger Clubhouse, and this has been the Dodger Post Game Show, and we'll remind you that our warm-up time on Tuesday will be at 12.45. For Vin Scully, Ross Porter, Jerry Doggett saying good afternoon to you all from Dodger Stadium.